So before we get into the video, I just wanted to mention a couple of quick things. So first of all, when I say ranking every boss, I mean anything that shows up on the wiki page. So that includes mini bosses and things like that. Uh, with the one exception that I did leave out uh, console exclusive bosses because I've never played a console version and I didn't really want to rank something that I've never fought. And I also wanted to remind everybody, this is my personal opinion, so obviously it's 100% correct and no, but really, feel free to let me know how you would have ranked anything differently in the comments below. And with those out of the way, let's get into the video. First off, we've got Cygnus. And Cygnus is probably my favorite of the Devourers, Sentinels of the Devourer. Because of that, he's got a good music track. I'm going to throw him an A. Uh, next up, we have King Slime. King Slime is normally the first boss you'd fight. Uh, nothing special... I'm just going to throw him in C. Now, Ceaseless, another Sentinel of the Devourer. Uh, personally, this is my least favorite Sentinel. I hate how you have to wait in between the phases. There's like a few seconds where he's just, everything's invulnerable. Uh, so for that, I'm going to throw him in D. Not a huge fan. This is like the nuclear terror or something. It was just added in the last Calamity update. Personally, I'm not a fan. Doesn't have its own drops. I don't really like the attacks. Honestly, I think I'm going to put that. I think that's going to be our first F. We've got the Colossal Squid. This is a pretty average mini boss. I'm just going to throw it in C. Okay, Earth Elemental. I don't like this mini boss very much, but it does have the Sandstorm drop. It looks cool. I'm going to put it in B. I think it's got good design. It's just annoying to deal with. Storm Weaver, last of the Sentinels. I like the two phase thing that it does. I'm just, I'm going to give that a solid B. I'll put it ahead of Earth Elemental. Eater of Worlds. Personally, I like it more than Brain of Cthulhu. I'm going to give Eater of Worlds a solid, I mean, it's a worm boss, but it does split apart. It's pretty unique. So I'm going to give it an A. Uh, now we have Destroyer. I don't know how I feel about Destroyer. I'm going to just, I'm going to throw Destroyer in B tier. We've got the Profound, what are these called? The Profound Guardians? Uh, first bossy fight post Moon Lord and Calamity. There's nothing special about them. I, I'm just gonna throw them in C. Plaguebringer on the other hand. Plaguebringer is very cool. Just got a resprite. I think this is gonna be our first S tier. Uh, next up is Moon Lord, okay. It's a cool boss. The design is very cool. The first time you fight it, it's super epic. But I personally am not a huge fan of the boss. I don't think it's very fun to refight this boss. I'd say overall, I think the boss itself is good, but the way you spawn it is not good. For that reason, I'm gonna throw him bottom of C tier. All right, next up we have, what is this? The, the Reaper Shark? It might be the only mini boss I can think of that has two phases. Um, I think it's cool. It has a cool design, good drops. I'm going to throw it in mid B tier. Okay, Flying Dutchman. I've always been so let down by this, this mini boss. The design is super cool, but the fight is bland and it doesn't have a single unique drop. You know, there, there's no real incentive to fight this. For that reason, I'm actually going to throw it in D tier. Okay, next up we have the Great Sand Shark. I really don't like this mini boss. D tier. That's about all I can say. I don't like that boss. Next up, we have Eidolon Worms. I think this is a very cool mini boss. The whole using a rod of discord in the abyss to spawn it. I think it's really cool. I'm going to put Eidolon Worms in A tier. Aquatic Scourge. Probably my least favorite worm boss. I don't like the sounds. The fight feels weird. I do not like Aquatic Scourge. F tier. Astrum Aureus has a cool song. The attacks are cool. It's it's a cool boss to fight. I like this boss a lot. Um, top of A tier. Astrum Deus, on the other hand, it's a cool boss with a cool track. The design is very cool. It is a unique worm boss because it's a bunch of little worms instead of one big worm. Uh, I, I'm really torn on this boss. I think I'm going to put it above Destroyer, but below everything else in B tier. Okay, Yaren. I absolutely love Yaren. It's a very cool fight. I love the second phase thing that it has going. The music change is super cool. It's a very hard boss, but it feels so rewarding when you learn the patterns and you fight him. I'm gonna throw him an S tier. In fact, top of S tier. We've got Ravager now. Ravager is basically just a makeshift golem. It's golem v2. I wish I could say better, but honestly, this boss just feels lazy. So for that reason, I'm gonna throw it in D. We've got Siren and Levi now. 
So how do I feel about Siren and Levi? I think it's a very cool fight. It's a very unique fight, having the two boss dynamic. The health pool on this boss is insane when you're fighting it for the first time, but I can't I can't let that take away from the fight too much because there's a lot of fights that I really love that take a while. I'm gonna say this is a very cool, unique boss. I'm gonna throw it an A. So next up we have Desert Scourge, yet another worm. <laughs> first boss of Calamity. It's on. It's a pretty cool fight. The, the music track is cool. I like it way more than it's Aquatic Scourge counterpart. I'm just gonna throw it right around this this little mid-tier worm group right here. So next up is Providence. I'm very torn on Providence because I like Providence as a boss. I think it's a very cool design. The fight feels good at first. It's just so long and repetitive. That's my only problem with this fight. So I really want to put this boss high because I think it's very epic. It's just, it's so repetitive that I have to rank it lower in like C tier. I mean, I gotta put it above the Guardians. Next up, Devourer of Gods. This is my favorite worm boss by far. I absolutely love this boss. I'm gonna throw it in S tier. It doesn't beat Yaren, but I think it can beat Plaguebringer at the very least. This is the Armor Digger mini boss, I believe. There's really nothing special about this boss. It's just another worm. I'm just gonna throw it in C tier and call it good. So next up, we have Betsy. Betsy itself, is a cool boss. My only problem with this boss is that <laughs> it spawns at the end of the worst event in the game. But I mean, I guess if I'm just rating the boss itself, I'd give Betsy an A. Next up, we have Brain of Cthulhu. I very rarely fight this boss. It's not even really because of the boss fight, it's because of the drop. The fight itself is pretty cool though. I like the change up where you have to kill the eyes and then it, the brain opens up. It's a unique boss. I'll throw it B tier. It beats out the worms. The drop is terrible though. Brimstone Elemental. This is a cool boss. I'll throw it bottom of A tier. Okay, Calamitous Clone, I actually like a lot. In fact, I'm throwing this S tier. I think it's a very fun boss to fight. I love the non-consumable summon so that you can learn the fight. I, it's very rewarding when you beat the boss. Yeah, S tier. Uh, this is Cloud Elemental, the little mini boss. I, I literally have never fought this mini boss other than farming for Heart of the Elements. There's absolutely nothing special about this mini boss. I'm just gonna throw it D tier. Okay, Crabulon. One of the best music tracks in Calamity. The boss fight itself is is alright. I, I don't have anything to complain about it. I don't think it's anything special. I'm just gonna throw it in B. So next up we have Bumbleburb, who has recently been re-sprited, and also I've just been informed it's been renamed to like Dragon something. I think it looks very cool with its new design here. However, the rename's throwing me off, man. I really liked Bumbleburb. <laughs> and for that reason I'm throwing it in C tier just because I'm disappointed that they're taking away the name dude I loved that name okay so this is some mini boss in the new acid rain event B tier I fought the acid rain two times and I don't even really remember this so it must not be that memorable cryogen cool boss it's given me a lot of trouble if you've watched my death mode playthrough but I can't let that take away from the fact that it's a cool boss I think the attacks are very unique there's nothing too special about it but all three throw it in A tier. So this is, what is it called? Dark Mage? It's, you know, it's from, it's from that same freaking Dungeon Defenders event. It's actually a very well-designed boss. I love the sprite of the boss. So I'll throw it in C tier. It's a cool little boss. All right, next up we have Duke Fisheron. Very hard boss in vanilla. I like it. It's very unique. There's no vanilla boss like this. I, I like this boss a lot. I'm going to put it in A or S tier. Next up we have the Ever Scream. It's just the tree mini boss from frost moon it's just like the morning wood but the frost moon variant i'm honestly not even a huge fan of the sprite i'm just gonna throw it in b tier i cthulhu this boss is very iconic and for that reason i have to put it in s tier you know this is on all of the the cover art for the game it's the first boss you fight in vanilla it's a very cool boss design wise i have to put it up there just for iconic purposes giant clam very meh mini boss. That's about all I have to say. Gollum is up next. I'm kind of resident sleeper when I'm fighting this boss. <laughs> I can't do anything higher than C tier. Bottom of C tier. Ice Queen. I hate this boss. I, I don't want to do the Frost Moon because of Ice Queen. I'm putting her in F tier. Lunatic Cultist is very cool. There's no vanilla boss like it. I'll put it top of A tier right around Cygnus 
notorious area. All right, we have the Martian Saucer. It's just another one of those mini bosses. It's honestly not a bad mini boss, but I can't put it any higher than like low B tier. This is, I don't even know what this is. Okay, it's the Mauler. Spawns after Poltergast in the Sulfurous Sea. I'll just throw it with the Great Sand Shark, I guess. It looks a little cooler, so I'll rank it higher. So we have Morningwood. I rated the Everscream low, and I shouldn't rate this much higher, but I'm going to because I like the Pumpkin Moon exponentially more than the Frost Moon. I think the Morningwood, it has a much better sprite. I think the sprites are very cool, and its attacks look really cool shooting the fire. So for that reason, I'm throwing it top of B tier. So next up, we have the Nebula Pit. Pillar. I'm not a huge fan of any of the pillars, and frankly, this pillar is super annoying. I think I have to throw all of the pillars in C tier. Yeah, they're all gonna be in C tier. Bottom of C tier. I don't like the pillars. The ogre. Eh. It's got like that two attacks D tier. This is the plague bringer. It's not plague bringer Goliath. It's just plague bringer. It's it's an all right mini boss, and that's about all I have to say. Let's throw it right here. Lantera's little sprite here got messed the freak up. I don't know why, but it sure did. Aside from that, Plantera is one of my favorite vanilla bosses. It's a very cool boss. It's one of the only ones with a unique music track, which bosses having unique music tracks is so cool, and I wish more vanilla bosses did. For the fact that it's a cool design, it has a two-phase attack, I, I'm gonna put this top of A tier. I think it's a very cool boss. Next up, we have Poltergast. <laughs> which interestingly enough is Calamity's version of Plantera, basically. I think Poltergast is a cool boss, but I can't rank it as high as Plantera, but I think it should at least be right there with Plantera. So I'm gonna put it below Plantera, but with Plantera. Next, we have Pumpkin, the exponentially better Ice Queen. <laughs> I can't put him too high, but I can at least throw him in B, like here. His attacks are cool. I actually really like Pumpkin. I'm throwing him even higher. Queen B, nothing special about this boss. C tier, we just lost our F tier. <laughs> okay, slight readjustments aside, now that we have uh, grown a little bit out of our original sizing there. Next up we have Santa Mark 100 or something, Santa MK one, two, I don't know, whatever. It's actually a cool little mini boss. I like it more than every scream. I'm gonna throw him above Gollum actually, but below Dra Dragon Folly. I remembered it, it's Dragon Folly. That's the new name for Bumbleburp, is Dragon Folly. Skeletron. Skeletron's cool, but he's not that special. I'm gonna throw him top of C tier maybe? I honestly like Skeletron Prime more than Skeletron, but not to the point where I want to put him even above Providence. Well, no, I am going to put him above Pro He's going to go right there. Top of C tier. Very top of C tier. Great work, Skeletron Prime. Okay, we've got two pillars in a row. Let's just rapid fire the pillars. Uh, there we go. Pillars have been ranked. <laughs> That's my opinion on the pillars. <laughs> Supreme Calamitous. <sighs> I'm going to be honest. I hate this boss. <laughs> you can call me bad in the comments, and maybe that's the reason why I hate this boss, but it has everything that I don't like about a boss. It's long, you're confined to a small arena, and it has invulnerable phases. It's just everything that I don't like about boss fights in this game. It's all combined into one boss. I think my favorite part of this boss fight is the brothers phase when I'm not even fighting the boss. It goes there, in F tier. It, Roast me in the comments. I hate I hate Supreme Calamitous. Okay, next up we have this is Hive Mind, this is Perforator Hive. Other way around. Perforator Hive, Hive Mind, whatever. This is the Corruption Hive. How cool are they? I'm gonna come back to them. Honestly, I'm gonna come back to them. I need to think about them. Old Duke just feels like a Duke Fisheron ripoff. I'm gonna throw it here. No. I'm gonna throw it here with the other with the Golem ripoff. Although Old Duke is cooler than than Ravager, if we're being fair. Slime God, cool boss. I think we're gonna have to do some, some more rearranging here because if I throw this in B tier, it's gonna die again. All right, rearranging aside yet again, I'm really running out of space here. I threw Slime God in B tier. I love the Corruption Crimson crossover, doesn't matter what world you're in, they're both there. It's a very cool boss, top of B tier. Twins, probably my favorite mech boss. I think it's a very cool, the two eyes, they have that phase transformation. I really like this boss, uh, but I don't like it enough for it to be A tier. I think I'm gonna throw it 
Wait a second. I have Destroyer in B tier, but not Skeletron Prime? Okay. We're throwing all the mech bosses together, ranked in the order that I like them. Just like that. Wall of Flesh is a very, very unique boss. Another staple of Terraria. And for that reason, it's gotta go in S tier. Right below Aya Cthulhu, for the same reason that Aya Cthulhu is in S tier. Now we've got the two hives. I think they're both B, honestly. They're both very cool. Their tracks are pretty cool. They're gonna go mid B tier. I'm throwing Corruption 1 in front of Crimson 1 because I don't like the worms that spawn with this guy as much as I like the flying guys that spawn with this guy. So anyway, that's my tier list. Let me know what you would change. And if this video gets enough recognition, if you guys actually like the concept of me doing tier lists, then let me know in the comments what other tier lists you'd want to see. If you don't want to see any more tier lists, let me know that. Either way, I'm fine with it. I'll do more. I won't do more. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And finally, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.